Patty, a nice bogey-free effort to Thank start you. your LPGA Tour career as a full-time member now. Mm -hmm. What was it like to get the first 18 out of the way and do it in that kind of fashion? I didn't really think about like trying to play well today. Just kind of us in the moment a lot, just trying to have fun today. I I know it's going to be a tough round because like the wind might pick up and then it like, was kind of heavy this morning. I just want to go out there and enjoy it. And, like that's my goal for today, and I, I think I achieved it. How does Boca Rio play to your strengths? It's a tough course. Uh, you have to be really precise off the off the tee and know where to go where not to go on the greens and um, it's a good test for sure I really like this course it fits my eyes um, the bunkers are, are pretty challenging you gotta like carry it over so with my high flight um, kind of a player I feel like that might be a little bit of an advantage mm -hmm. three wins and 11 Symmetra Tour starts last year as a rookie on the uh, road to the LPGA to get you out here Seamless transition, it seems like, when you can start like that. What was it like just to think about maybe times that you had on the course last year and then get back out on the LPGA Tour now? It's the same stuff, you know, repeat on what I'm doing and just trying to play golf and have fun and just I'm actually enjoying my moment out here because I've been waiting to come out for three months. That's off season, which is kind of stressful, and it put me in a bad position, but I kind of, I read a lot of books um, over the off season and kind of bounced back from that. Talked to a lot of people about how should I set my mindset going to this year. And it, it's all those such just, just help. It's not just the golf game, just the technical stuff, but men, mainly it's the mental too. Why was it stressful? Just the getting yeah. ready for that next level? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, you know, that transition from Symmetra Tour, three rounds, um, from, it's a different environment too. Like everyone takes it pretty seriously out here, um, and I was kind of intimidated by the idea of the LPG tour and just being out here. Just kind of scares me, you know. Like it, it's a big thing. It's this is my job, and like I have to do this for a living. And what if I don't like it? It's just a lot of doubts and thoughts in my head. But after all, I just kind of cut that out and just focus on what I have to do, and it's been working pretty well. What was the favorite book? For you that you read this off season? Um, I, ha I, I read um, a book called Mindset. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the author's name, but I really like that book and um, the other book too. I don't know if I can say it. it's uh, the art of the subtle art of not giving. Okay. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the book. And it just helped me kind of get into the right mindset and just be happy, be a, be a more like happier person too. You have a big Instagram that uh, called Eat Under Par. Yes. You just travel and eat food. I do. Did you do a little bit of that in the off season too? I did. I've been around actually. I was in Arizona. I was in LA, and then I was in Orlando. I was everywhere, but at the same time trying to prepare for this season. So it's been kind of overwhelming. I feel like I didn't get that good of a preparation, but I like how anonymous and like how spontaneous my off season was. Well, good luck the rest of the week, and congratulations on the great start. Thanks.